We're here for the what? Divorce party. Because she's looking for the? The D. My name is Chantel. I'm 32 years old. And I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. After being married to Pedro, I know for a fact that I don't want anybody who belittles me. I want a man who's super successful and like a horse. <laughs> So yeah, it seems like Chantel's been on this TV production rampage from family Chantel to now the single life literally during the midst of her divorce with Senor Pedro. And it begs the question if and when Chantel ever found the time to fully heal and grow from her recent separation. I didn't have that. I didn't have that. But I digress. So here she is in the great land of Greece, home of the Olympians, philosophy, mathematics, astronomy, olive oil. Um... Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> she. But no, so Chantel's here today with her three amigos in this gray land to do some degenerate things in the modern slums. Dare I say, the current dating pool. We say you right. <laughs> <laughs> things that would probably set her back another five years if done correctly. That's why choosing who you spend your time with and having discernment for unhealthy friendships and who's in your inner circle is so muy importante. The influence is crazy, man. Okay, so here's the ground rules. Everything we say you do. Do. Period. Five guys' numbers tonight. No, so no, girls don't just go up to guys and be no. like, what's your oh, number? We, we doing it today. Oh, is... You don't have to, like, be what you were. Yes, yeah, Chantel. So everything we say you do. Do. Period. So when we're all hammered tonight on Nectar of the Gods and Greek yogurt vodka, I want you to channel your inner Johan and start microdosing cow piss. Open your mouth. Drop, drop, drop. Oh, my God. And remember, like Uncle Ben used to always say, You don't have to, like, be what you were. So on that note, Chantel's here, ready to mingle and find her Greek man, hand-chiseled and carved out of her own imagination, literally. Sparta, Spartans, strong men, nice body, washboard abs. Gonna get ahead of myself. I would like a Greek man. I've seen pictures of Greece, and I hope my imagination comes true. This is where the Greek gods are. Mm. So I'm oh. hoping. A god I heard for you. Because you were always with a peasant. Goddess. Oh! Oh, god god. oh my god! My boy Pedro is gonna be out here catching random strays all season for no reason. Bang, bang, bang! <laughs> Like Chantel literally could have said anything. Um, so guys, I did Romanian deadlifts for the first time on a plane ever. Uh, but now I'm not exactly too sure why my back feels like a white mocha frappuccino grande. Because you were with a peasant. Now, maybe I wasn't acutely aware before, but it seems to me like Chantel got a little bit of that, uh, that Darcy <laughs> DNA in her, you know? And if you didn't know, Darcy DNA has its own mission statement. I don't date Americans. I want me a foreign man's. Some, some like that. Only difference is Chantel dated Pedro, who is Dominican, so her palate seems to stretch more than just the European continent. But I digress. Now, Chantel hasn't outrightly stated all of this, but, you know, a couple lines here and there, and you can make the assumption. If I want to date an American man, they take so long to marry. American men take at least four years to get married. I prefer somebody from another country versus an American man. Americans don't really treat me the way I want to be treated. Now, I'm not saying Chantel's wrong, but also there's other variables that Chantel's overlooking with these statements. Like, for example, the fear of divorce courts and marriage laws haven't exactly been too favorable for men, especially the men she wants. I want a man who's super successful. Thus, a lot of these guys tend to slow their roll before putting a ring on it. Also, when it comes to dating abroad, in many situations, the other party has an incentive outside of just love to get married ASAP. Hence, Pedro. I am afraid of telling Chantel because I want to bring my family to the United States. Now, Chantel will happily sign herself up for all of this and more, and then have her and her family continue to bash it against your head anytime you guys have disagreements. A scam that almost parallels human trafficking what? to get him over to the United States, take advantage of the American economy. It seems like... Now, it could be a marriage scam. And that's just a part of the scam. And you know what the truth is? Whenever they say that to me, that's the first thing. I'm like, OK, so this guy's a scammer. He wants to separate because he was here for a green card. We all said it. We knew what he was here for. From the start. It wasn't about being here with Chantel. He's wanting to be here. Pedro has proven me right. He was only with Chantel for what he could get. Hence, Pedro's divorce. But I mean, if you just want a foreign dude because you want to pull up in a foreign whip. Hey. Then hey, by all means, carry on. We just arrived in Greece. I have finally accepted that I am single and I'm ready to start living again. This is going to be a very fun trip. 
The trash has been taken out. She looks like a Greek goddess. We're gonna own all of that. Activate, activate. Right. Okay, come on. Come on. Hi, I'm Chantel. I've done it. Adonis. That's crazy. Look, I thought the Greek nameplay only happens in like mythology books. I didn't know people actually walk around rocking these names. That's that's kind of hard. Like imagine getting approached. Adonis, Leonidas, Achilles. Like if I'm competing with somebody named Achilles, I might just rip out my own Achilles. Like that, that's too much. How is that even fair? Even if you're like Big Ed, but your name is Demetrios, that's an automatic left swipe. But hey, you got a cool name. That's a dub. That's a W. That's E1. That's E1, that's a W. Anyhow, um, so, anyhow, um, what do you do for work? I work as a sailor on a catamaran. A sailor? Yeah, you like that? Yes, that's so exciting. Oh my God, do you mind if I get your number? Oh, Activate. Activate. Okay. Activate. Okay. Activate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so this whole interaction was probably as moist as a pack of vacuum sealed saltine crackers. Like Lord knows, Sailor was probably not what she wanted to hear, but I mean, at this point, the man could have said anything. Um, so yeah, I'm actually a bum. A bum? Oh my God, that's so exciting. Yeah, no, it's actually very depressing. I come here every Tuesday because Vasilio's giving out free darts, you know? Hell yeah, dude. Can I get your number? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Now, we're not going to even talk about why she has a whole squad of dancing flamingos in the back. Oh, Activate. Like, Activate. Okay. Nah, heck yeah. Like, if I'm Adonis, the only activating I'm doing is uh, deactivating my phone after this one. Oopsie. Oopsie. Guy in the black shirt. Cute. Do you want to take a drink? Let's just take have a drink. drink with Let's us. just have a drink. You want to have a drink with us? Okay. <laughs> what do you like? Whatever you like. Whatever. Oh. Oh. Okay. How old are you? 20. 20? Oh, you have a bike? Yeah. Can we the ride? yeah, let's not act like that didn't come off very oddly human trafficky. Hey, you, yeah, the guy that looked like Sid's sister? Yeah, you in a black shirt, come here. You want a drink? Let's take a drink. Just have a drink, dude. Just one flipping drink, dude. Okay. Now, she goes off with the kid, literally. It was like 12 when you married Pedro, but I digress. Comes back and then just out of nowhere started having Vietnam flashbacks. No! I love me some Pedro. Oh no. Pedro took me on the four wheel. No. Hell no. No, 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 <laughs> yo, yo, the friend group is crazy, crazy. What are you crying about, Sean? Uh, don't turn the energy. You're killing, you're killing the vibes. It's not, it's not really giving. It's not really giving. Greek goddess. <laughs> yo, stop. Like, I'm sure they're cool people, right? I, I just don't know if they got your best interests at heart. For example, letting you hop on this two-wheeler motorbike after we peer pressure the driver to uh, take a couple shots. Yeah, see, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> Call me crazy, but... Can't be me. Fast forward to the second day in Greece, they end up going to make uh, olive oil, right? Surprise, surprise. And, and the tour guy ends up being some Russian mob who's saying something like, uh, so the females come here, they feel comfortable with us. We uh, take them in and uh, we go party, party, party and uh, hasta luego after that. <laughs> <laughs> something, something like that. So a lot of former come to Crete, especially the females, feel very comfortable with us. Like we show them uh, like uh, the clubs, everything, the nightlife. We go for party. Okay, so we need to go check. We're going out. Yeah, see, if it wasn't for the cameras, uh, yeah, ain't no way <laughs> I'm letting Mr. Evil Knievel, pretty boy Sean Yu, henchman, take me and my girlies <laughs> to go party, 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 and we all end up on a milk carton, like a like a family portrait. <laughs> screw that. <laughs> yeah, screw all that, because call me Magic Johnson. I'm passing. But they end up going, right? Because uh, Chantel. Bring on the men. She thirsty. Thirsty, thirsty. Let me introduce my friend Yanis. Yanis, a professional football player. Yanis. Chantel. Chantel, nice to meet you. The guys, the guys are looking good. Go ahead, Chantel. I imagine a Greek god, strong, Spartan, just the washboard abs. Look, I don't know how many times we got to hear Chantel talk about Sparta, Spartan, strong man, washboard abs. Like, Chantel, not, not everybody's name, Leonidas. That, that's like you going to China and being like, I'm looking for a Jackie Chan. And that's looking like you and you. 
And you, y'all look like Jackie Chan. That's how crazy you sound to me. Now, what's crazy is her trying to push herself to fall for every guy she's been in contact with so that she can fill up this void that she hasn't healed from. Because bet you the first thing they talk about when they're one on one. Have you ever been married? No, never. Good. Yeah. But that's a long time. Like, it's it so far behind me. I don't know if it's just a Greek thing or a him thing to be so understanding, but I see it as a positive. Uh, no, Chantal, that, that's actually not a Greek thing or a him thing. That's a universal guy thing. Every guy has a dialogue script verbatim that works for any and all combos. Because everybody got a sad story. Nine out of ten times, she wouldn't be here unless she got her heart broken. So, you know, let her spill out all the beans. Let her talk so that you can pretend to be the opposite of what she's yapping about. Pedro's mean. You're not mean. You're nice. Pedro is stingy. You're, you're generous. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you're off the rack somewhat tasty response is always going to be 45 degrees this way that's that's crazy wish uh, i could have been there for you i feel like the universe if you believe the man above put us two together for a reason right or if she believes in the uh, zodiac stuff right um you're you're a sagittarius right as a pisces the way my rising moon is set up mixes really well a lot of happy endings family commitment trips vacations kindness generosity i see all all of that you know <laughs> and uh yeah results will vary de depending on how good your delivery is but but also by your attractive level right like if you're like me <laughs> he a weirdo or, or if you're like brad pitt i don't know if it's just a greek thing or a him thing to be so understanding now clearly Chantel fell for the okie doke you know <laughs> like i don't even know if this guy's even a football player you, you saw the way they introduced him here's my friend Giannis. he's a professional football player wait what I am? Oh, 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 yeah, I'm Giannis. And clearly we see him celebrating at the end, right? Tonight was a good night. Hey, we packing them in like sardines. Pack them in this phone like some sardines. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up the first two episodes of this season. I think third episode comes out next week where I think she does swing around for Giannis and drives like four hours to go see him, <laughs> which is crazy. And I don't exactly think this is healthy. You know, like it's obvious she's not over Pedro, nor should she be. And she's just trying to fill this void with whoever whatever at this point which is understandable i just don't think this is the right course of action to do so but hey you guys let me know what you think below but as always uh like comment subscribe show your boys some love and uh i'll see you guys in about a week but hey what do you want to know i'm just sipping like one rapper two rapper three rapper four all these bodies in my closet i know that most of my favorite rappers wasn't spitting like me at the age of 19 make a motherfucker think that my idols my rivals and i never lose so my idols get slotted they're thrown in the trenches i snipe from a distance like boom pow i reload and i empty the clip on a pussy motherfucker with a lick in his bio like single day mayo y'all